As we celebrate um, the upper month, um, that is the 1st of September 2022, we had uh, our launch here in Enklazeni District Municipality. Uh, amongst the areas that we visited today, we visited uh, our partners and also the industry. We visited Sapi plantations uh, with uh, other departments, uh, uh, deputy ministers, that is the Deputy Minister from Human Settlement, Deputy Minister from Tourism, and the Deputy Minister from Sports, Arts and Culture, where then from there went to uh, visit Safkol. We're taken through the labs, uh, we're taken through their research units, and many things that uh, were done in those areas. And it is very important uh, that uh, we plant trees especially in our rural communities and in our uh, uh, townships. One of the things why we need to, 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 to plant trees, we need to have a campaign as a department so that we go down to the communities and then we let communities know why it is important uh, to have trees. Because trees are not only for cutting and making fire, there are of course those trees that uh, can be cut and make fire, but most of the trees are not for cutting and making fire. We know that we can use trees for shades, and then mostly we know that trees are there to protect us when it comes to the oxygen that we are inhaling as the communities. It is for each one of us to make sure that we use what we have sparingly. Because this industry is based on sustainable forestry practices. It's based on social impact and driving social impact where we operate. And it invests a lot in education, it invests in research and development, it invests in science, and then it invests in manufacturing facilities. But for those facilities to be real in contributing to the economy like it does here in Mpumalanga, up to 7.3 billion rand of contribution made every year, in KZN even more than that, the point is that we need to preserve the trees. We need to preserve the area where our trees grow. We need to make sure that our communities are integrated in the value chain. And we do it as sadly every single day. And we do it fairly successfully, even if I have to say so myself. As the Department of Forestry, Fisheries and the Environment, we are tasked with the responsibility of greening the nation. As part of this greening function, uh, we have been tasked to make sure that there are 10 million trees planted over a five-year period. And as we enter our second year of this task, we are now um, launching our month as part of our activities. Our month is important, not just because we want to plant trees to reach the target of 2 million trees, but also to educate and create awareness to all our communities, to all our school going children and everyone in the future. We know that this is for soil for soils. They are good to avoid soil degradation. They are also very good in mitigation of climate change. So as the department we would like to encourage everyone in the country to assist us to reach the million tree planting, but also to start taking care of the trees that have been planted, to conserve the trees that we have, and to make sure that the trees that are planted by us as a department and by our partners are able to grow. We also know that South Africa is a, scarce, is a water scarce country, therefore we also try and make sure that we plant indigenous trees who are then able to save water. In terms of food security, we, we, we give away or we encourage communities to plant fruit trees 
especially in households where they can have access to foods. We then collaborate with our municipalities through a program or through an award uh, competition, the Upper City Awards, where, co where municipalities are awarded uh, because they are involved in cleaning initiatives and the involvement of youth in their cleaning initiatives. So through this award program, we have municipalities all over the country coming together and competing against each other within set criteria, and then we are able to choose which municipality is able to.